Greetings and salutations, Pokemon trainers and enthusiasts of all kind. I am Steve-O. And I am Laser Chicken. And we are here to ask you a not-so-simple question. So you want to be the very best. But before we can answer that, who are these strange and oddly attractive individuals in front mm -hmm. of you peddling their knowledge of uh, Pokemon battles? And why should you listen to what we have to say? That is a very good question, my good sir. So... Uh, background on myself, I've been playing Pokemon for nearly 20 years now, all the way back since Red Version. I sold some of my toys and collections at a flea market just so I can get my first copy of Pokemon. It was so good. So good. Um, very, very quickly after starting to play it, I got hot and heavy into the competitive scene. I was a gym leader for the Nintendo Pokemon League. Um... I was doing that really intensely, and then I started traveling around the world and doing some different things, so I kind of had to take a step back from um, the competitive scene. So I circled back and really dove in again uh, with Generation, Generation 6 with X and Y. Uh, love those games. You know, kind of a mixed reaction from some people. I thoroughly enjoyed them. Uh, currently... One of the big reasons that actually both of us are here are a group called uh, Team Rocket Go. And I am the water gym leader for them, and my cohort in crime is part of their media team. So what we, uh, my for my background, my big emphasis at this stage is being competitive, but being fun at the same time. Like, we can have fun without being cutthroat jerks. <laughs> So, uh, what I really want to focus on in this series and working with you is helping you develop and be competitive, but enjoy yourself along the way. Right. Um, I got my start kind of similarly with the very first Pokemon games, although I had the far superior blue version. <laughs> <laughs> I got a uh, Pokemon blue version and a Game Boy as a uh, uh, Christmas present, actually, from oh, my uh, godmother. And... Um, after those games, though, I kind of uh, fell out of the series a little bit and uh, didn't get back into them until uh, Black and White uh, decided to give the series, a game, the series another try then, and I really enjoyed them. I was very glad I got back into it. Loved Black and White and Black and White 2, and then when X and Y came out, I loved those even more, and I've been uh, enjoying uh, Alpha Sapphire now. And... Uh, it's only recently that I've gotten into competitive battling with, with the release mm -hmm. of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Before that, I didn't have much interest in it, um, but I've kind of dived headfirst into it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm currently a member of Team Rocket Go's Water Gym, led, led by Steve here. Um, I also do live streams and produce videos for Team Rocket Go's media team. Um, and mainly my focus is not only learning more about uh, competitive battling and uh, breeding and collecting Pokemon, but also helping others to learn more uh, about this whole process. Absolutely. And really, now that you know, or at least have an idea of who we are, uh, I, we want to take some time and talk about what it is that we can do for you. As a member of Team Rocket Go's trainer school and a longtime teacher of Pokemon strategy and tactics, it, we find it really difficult to discuss strategy in a vacuum. So what I mean by that is so much of what moves to use or strategies to implement or when to switch or so on and so forth really, really depends on context. Um, you know, and that makes the discussion and comprehension of that discussion for new people really difficult at times. Uh, so, so our series we're looking to create here, so you want to be the very best, is our attempt at addressing that difficulty. Uh, it is going to be a series that aims to teach tactics, strategy, and know-how, um, via the design, breeding, and and then eventual use of an actual team from beginning to end. Yep, and we'll be beginning our series with an overview of the resources that are uh, easily available to everyone online. Uh, there's many sites that can provide uh, comprehensive information <laughs> on individual Pokemon, news updates, uh, battling communities, and uh, starting tips on strategies to uh, kind of get you going on uh, new things. Um, and it'll help all your trainers to uh, on your quest to become the very best. Um, after that, we'll jump right on into the basics of preparing a Pokemon for a battle with an example of a balanced team, 
and uh, what goes on into giving them the very best chance of succeeding. Awesome. Um, so when we're when we're discussing this, and when I couldn't sleep in the middle of the night and was conceptualizing this lovely design, uh, what we're really envisioning is this being done in a seasonal format, with each season following a single team from start to finish. Uh, so for our first season. What we wanted to use is the most straightforward and arguably iconic format, and that is six versus six single battles. Um, this is the least complex format to discuss and will offer a really good platform to discuss the tactics and strategy of Pokemon battling, and it will provide a framework and context for that. Uh, for the later seasons, what we want to discuss is the different formats, including my personal favorite double battles, uh, or the video game championships that Nintendo runs. Um, and we want to prep people for official competitions, for our Team Rocket Go gym leader challenges, the whole spectrum. And now that you have an idea of what you can expect from this series, uh, we're looking forward to going on this journey with all of you. Uh, we appreciate your feedback, so if you'd like to uh, leave any comments or questions in the uh, comment section of this video, um, if you have any suggestions for so things you'd like to see covered, or uh, questions about specific Pokemon, uh, let us know. So with that, uh, we're signing off till our next installment. Until then, uh, man, may the repels never wear off. And may the crits be ever in your favor. Peace out.